Leslie Nicole with French Kiss Collections here. I want to show you two ways that you can change the color on the transparent overlays. All right, I've opened up a very subtle texture. This is a Jean d'Arc from Late Textures 1. And I have this transparent overlay from the um, Le Marche overlays. OK, I'm going to drag this over to my texture. Release it. Now let's do a quick resize on that. I'm going to do Command T or Control T on the PC. Hold down Shift to constrain the proportions. Grab a handle and quickly resize that. And I'll hit Enter. All right, so we have this black overlay on the texture. It does have a transparent background. So how do we change the color on that? There's two ways. Some people um, really like using the fill command to change this. So let's go over that first. OK, so I'm going to bring up the fill dialog box by hitting Shift Delete on my keyboard. And we're really concerned with these first three options, the foreground color, background color, or color picker. Let's bring up the color picker. OK. Let's well, select this nice teal color here. Hit OK. You do want to make sure that Preserve Transparency is selected. And hit OK. And then I can change my blend mode in the layer panel. Let's do Multiply. OK, well, that's fine. But every time I want to change the color now, I have to do that again. Shift Delete. And I found you got to kind of select this color picker again if you want to use that. Now if I change it to a different color, now here's what I don't like about this method. I can't see on the fly what my new choice is going to be. I have to go ahead and select it, hit OK again, and then to see my method, to see my change in color. OK, so my preferred method that I like to use is using a clipping mask to change the color. And I'm not going to go into that in great detail in this video because I do have other vi videos on using clipping masks. But I'll go over it really quickly here. I have another copy of that overlay in black. So we're going to use that. Um, now I've created an action that's free on the blog that will automatically add a solid color clipping mask to your overlay. And for me, I've all also assigned a keyboard shortcut to that action. So I'm going to use Shift F14 to apply a clipping mask to this overlay. The default color is brown. Now to change that color, I just double click this color icon in the layer panel. It brings up my color picker. Now watch this. This is what I love here. Now I can see on the fly what my new color might be. Okay? That's why I really love this method. I'm going to hit OK. Let's go back to I like that kind of teal color. I'm going to hit OK. And now it's just really easy to change that whenever I want and I can see what color I'm getting right away. Okay, so those are two ways to change the color on the transparent overlays. And you can find out more about using the method with the um, clipping mask on the blog as well as get the free action on the blog.